simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Stress Testing Welcome to the 53rd session in your preparation for the FRM Part 1 exam. This is going to be the first part of the last topic on stress testing. We have earlier pointed out the limitations of VAR methods in that they do not capture rare catastrophic events at the tails. Stress testing allows us to analyze the impact of large changes in any input variable on the portfolio. Let us begin the session. Agenda The main agenda of our discussion will be learning about stress testing and its application in managing financial risk. We will begin by learning about the role of stress testing. We will then learn about scenario analysis and sensitivity tests, a method to calculate margin in a derivatives market, or SPAN will be studied briefly. We will also learn about various approaches to scenario analysis. Additionally, the differences between stress testing and sensitivity analysis will be highlighted. Finally, we will end the session with a brief discussion on the applications of stress testing. Role of stress testing. As we have learned earlier, the major drawback of the traditional VAR measures is that they do not capture the impact of rare catastrophic events where the magnitude of losses are unknown. We have also learned that the return distributions do not have true normal distributions but exhibit fat tails. This drawback seriously affects our estimate of the reserve required in scenarios of distress. Stress testing overcomes this problem. It creates a stress scenario by changing the input variables and then analyzing the impact of the change. As such, the impact of potential catastrophic events is also captured. The portfolio value for the extreme value of the input is thus determined in that it allows us to accurately predict the reserve capital needed in times of distress. Scenario analysis Scenario analysis can be distinguished on the basis of what drives the scenario or on the basis of the number of dimensions in which the input 